One type of plot that we use very often, but we don't really, we are, we are often not aware of it, is a parametric plot. Um, in a normal plot, something like y equals sine of x, this will look like the following. So this is the x-axis, the y-axis, and then the sine looks something like this from 0 to 2 pi. And now I don't want to call it y-axis, but y1-axis here. So what is shown here is the, the y-value calculated by the sine x function. In the parametric plot, the x-axis is not displayed, which means the x-value, which is um, um, changed from 0 to 2 pi, for example, is not shown. However, there's a second function we have, y2, for example, cosinus von x. And in a plot, this looks something like this. Not very beautiful. Um, from, again, 0 to 2 pi. And then this is the y2 axis here. So the, the y value calculated from cosine is shown on this y2 axis. And this is the x axis, but again, the x axis is not shown. Rather, what is done is that there's a new plot which has y1 on one axis and y2 on the other axis. So this means that the sine here is shown on this axis, the classical y-axis, and the cosine is shown on the, for example, y2 axis, or the y2 axis, which is the classical x-axis. And how this works in detail, I'd like to demonstrate here with the, um, with the Mathematica problem. So first I show the, the sine of x on from, well, x is the variable from 0 to 2 pi, and I get here the sine function. And I also want to have the, the cosine, so I copy this below here, show cosine, and then I have the cosine, but in two different plots, and I want it in one plot, which I can do, I make a list with these brackets and write cosine in here, and then I can delete this one, and now both are shown in one single plot. And basically this plot can already be used for a parametric plot, because on a parametric plot this is on the x-axis and this is on the y-axis. So I use this entire expression here and use the command parametric plot, execute it, and this is then the parametric plot, which is a circle. And to illustrate this a little bit better, I made this small program here. So here's the, the first plot with x on the normal x-axis, and then this is the parametric plot. So I can change x, which is shown on the first one here on the left plot, but um, not in the parametric plot. Well, it is shown here as these little callouts, in fact. So now you can see if you go to x almost 0 or x0, that cosine um, at for x equals 0, cosine is 1. So the, the, the this y-axis here represents um, the cosine and a sine of x is 0, so this is 0, 1, and then if I change this, of course, um, uh, the, the circle um, evolves accordingly, which can be easily shown here. Now, this kind of parametric plot, as I said, is very, very common, actually, in many kinds of um, 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 usages in, in cosmochemistry. One, um, uh, very known is, for example, the isotron.